Hi guys, it's Shelby and welcome to another video. Um, today I'm going to be doing quite a small haul. Um, it is really, really small. There's only a few things. But I do think some of the things are quite interesting. And over the last week, I went to three pet stores, or at least stores with a pet section. And I bought a couple of things from each. I'm going to show them. Before I start though, I do just want to mention that I know this channel is pretty much cage chores and the occasional haul. I am hoping to expand it a bit more, but I am struggling a bit at the moment with uni. But I do finish at the end of this month. So over the summer is when I plan to work on the channel. So I'm sorry it's a bit repetitive at the moment. But uh, yeah, I do plan on expanding when I've got a bit more time. Um, I shouldn't really be doing this now. I should be writing an essay, but... I wanted to do the haul so these can go in the cages and I'll do the cages in a few days, but yeah. Anyway, <laughs> so the first store I went to was the range, and from the range I got this, the board and breaker suspension bridge. Um, this is a thing I've seen around um, for quite a bit, and it's normally quite pricey, but it was um, £5.49 at the range, so I thought if I'm going to buy it, there's the place to buy it from. And we'll just open it up. Um... So you can see what it's actually like. So um, I bought this for my Syrian hamster Bebo because she does like to climb. And um, I feel quite bad because I broke two platforms last month redoing the gauges. So she's ended up without anything, um, without any kind of platform in this time. So um, I bought this as kind of like a replacement for those, because um, the platforms that broke, I didn't really fancy repurchasing because they were kind of crappy um so yeah i bought um i bought that <laughs> uh, there are a few more things in that range uh, i don't know if you can see there they are i was really keen on buying this assault course one up here however um i saw some people open that and i was uh, a bit underwhelmed so i thought i'd give this one a go first also from the range not as exciting but i do really like these and i get these a lot are these little ring chews um i think they're about 60 pence each so they're not a lot at all and they come in quite a few colors this time i bought blue green and yellow um pat doesn't touch these but bebo does she like chews them right up so um i always have some of those on the go so the next store i went to was um an independent pet store by me and um, I'll start with the more boring thing I got from there, which is this um, corner toilet thing. I um, used one of these for Bebo a couple of months ago and it was quite successful, other than the fact it was quite small and um, it had a lid and she kept popping the lid off. But it does make the cage a bit easier to clean and I'm quite lazy so if it makes anything easier I'd go for this one. Uh, this one is from Trixie and as you can see it was £1.49 however from this pet store I do get 10% off um, because it's in the same centre where I work so I get 10% off in some of the stores there and the pet shop is one of them which is nice because um, I go in there a lot the other thing I got from there I love this it's a little castle so this is the Trixie play castle as you can see it uh, a castle <laughs> with um, just like holes everywhere for them to go in and out of and uh, it has like two towers at the back I think this is adorable and um, I've seen it in there before and uh, I went in um, pretty close to my birthday which was my excuse for buying all this stuff uh, it was my birthday a few days ago so I decided to treat myself and the hamsters <laughs> um, with some new things so that was one I'd seen. This was um, around £10. I can't remember the exact price. So I got it for around £9. So not one of the cheapest things. But I do like it. And the final shop I went to was a pet shop called Pets Corner. But it was inside um, a garden centre I went to. And uh, this store is closing down. I will probably go back before it closes down to see if they knock anything else down. Um, but everything was 50% off. So there were some pretty good buys there, although the stuff in there was uh, about 30% more expensive than it is everywhere else anyway, so I can see why they're closing down. Um, but yes, I did get a couple of things. So the first one is this house. Um, I hadn't seen this before and I think it's pretty cute. I'm not sure on the sizing though, I think it, 
it wouldn't really do for a Syrian, so this will have to be for Pat. Um, but it's got like a little, it looks like a bendy bridge from the top basically, and then it's just this little house. Um, this was originally $11.99, but I got it for $5.99 which I think is a pretty good price for something and it does, it feels genuinely really nice so I'm really happy with that and the last thing I got is something that I've seen like in pretty much every pet shop I've been to and that is the board and breaker sleep and play cheese there we go, it's focused um, this does have a Syrian on it on the picture so um, I'm not sure whether it'll actually be mm, it, the, to be fair it might be alright for a Syrian actually so here it is out of the box and um, that's what it looks like, like some cheese <laughs> uh, and it has like a hinge so you can put it in some different shapes um, but yeah I've seen this around and since it was such a good price I did pick it up while I was there, let's have a look so it was originally $7.49 but I got it for $3.74 so not bad at all so altogether those two items were only 9.74 which i don't think is too bad at all but yeah that's everything i've bought recently i hope you've enjoyed watching and i'll see you next time bye